Hey, Phil here, and I'm going to teach you how to install Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager on your WordPress site. I tend to think people sometimes overcomplicate this stuff. My goal is able is uh, for me to teach you just how to drop Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 on your new site or on your WordPress site rather. So it assumes you got GTM4 access, uh, GA4 access, Google Tag Manager access, and WordPress access. With that in mind, let's get started. So I'm actually going to go to analytics and we're going to go to my GA4 property, which is right here. You're going to go on the left side to admin, set up assistant, tag collection, and you want to grab the measurement ID right here. So cool. We got that. Go into Google Tag Manager for the respective site. And this is the GA4 tag that I'm going to build. We're going to delete it really quick. You know, OK, we're in GTM. We're going to hit new. We're going to call this the GA4 tag. That's what I call it. Measurement ID is what we got from GA4. I want it to fire on all pages. Save. Now, I can't really troubleshoot in preview mode because we haven't installed it yet. So I want to install it. So you're going to go to install Google Tag Manager and grab this first component. So we got to add these to the theme files. Always do backups. Always use child theme files. Do as I say, not as I do, because this is a demonstration. But you're going to drop the, there's two pieces of code for GTM underneath the head and in the body. So header.php, footer.php. Let's get started with the head, appearance, theme file. I'm here in a child folder, header.php. You see this head tag? I'm going to drop it right there. We're going to update. Now I'm breaking a little bit of the rules because I'm not using a child theme because this is demonstration, but you would open up the footer PHP that you put in your child theme, go all the way down and it's right before the body tag. You're going to grab that second half of GTM and then drop it right before the closing of that body tag. If that's all you did, then you're not going to break the site. <laughs> Best be careful, as always, use backups, all that stuff. All right, so if we've done everything correctly, we should be able to see it in preview. Pretty sure that's all correct. Okay, I see two tags. I see too many tags. No, that's great. Um, Google Tag Manager's in there twice, but I believe that's a bug. And our GA4 tag has fired. Great work, great work. And um, I'm feeling confident enough to publish, but you could go in here to reports inside GA4. You look at real time, and I think you should show up. Yeah, that's you. You should see yourself down there, which I think is quite cool. And once you've seen everything at this point, I feel comfortable enough publishing. So I'm going to hit submit and add it. Great. Publish it and enjoy your new uh, WordPress GTM GA4 enabled property. I hope that's helpful. Again, I didn't want to overcomplicate it and I glossed over a lot of stuff. So uh, reach out with any detailed questions and comment. If you guys are liking the GA4 related content that I'm doing lately, let me know in the comment section. I think this stuff is a lot of fun. And if you think it's fun, I'll just keep it going. So thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.